Welcome to Think Tech on OC16, Hawaii's weekly newscast on things that matter to tech and Hawaii. I'm Jay Fidel. And I'm Sachi Sloma. In our show this time, we'll cover the 2015 HPU commencement at the Neil Blaisdell Center. We'll see the students get their degrees, flip their tassels, and celebrate with their classmates, families, and friends. Last week, Think Tech attended the Hawaii Pacific University commencement at the arena in Blaisdell Center. It was spectacular. There were almost 700 graduates there, from undergraduate degrees to graduate degrees. With the help of Richard Raposa and Chris Aguinaldo of HPU, we were able to film the proceedings. Thanks to them for their help. We started in the exhibition hall where the graduates were assembled to march into the arena. The arena was filled with that special kind of excitement that only happens at university commencements. HPU is a school of great diversity that came from all over the world, from all backgrounds and ages, and for that matter, from all parts of the community. First, we saw the opening processional and Hawaiian chant, followed by the national anthem and Hawaii Pono'i. Then the welcome by HPU's president, Dr. Jeffrey Bannister, and remarks by the valedictory speakers, Zachary Drury, Morgan Busick, and Mark Bryans. so that everyone may enjoy the ceremony. Aloha. I'm glad we've learned something in four years at HPU. And on behalf of the faculty, staff, students, and trustees of Hawaii Pacific University, I'm honored to welcome you to the university's 84th commencement ceremony. I hope by the end of the evening you will be more enthusiastic. <laughs> Ekanie <laughs> recognized today for earning 871 academic degrees, among them 59 associate's degrees, 536 bachelor's degrees, and 276 master's degrees. And in addition, a couple of you are graduating with honors as well. Those credentials represent a broad range of disciplines, from international business to social work, computer science to diplomacy, psychology to nursing. I hope to see many of you on September the 18th at HBU's 50th anniversary celebration at the newly reimagined Aloha Tower Marketplace. I wish each of you the very best of success in your next adventure and a truly meaningful life wherever your paths may take you. There's a lot going on outside the classroom, 
that, that, that goes into being a professor. Uh, it's, it's, and in this sense, it really truly is a, 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 a demanding job. There's, there's a lot of reading we have to do, a lot of preparation for our courses, there's the grading, there's also the research we need to do to, to kind of you know, maintain ourselves as, as, as scholars. There's a lot of traveling, time away from friends, from family, so we can go to conferences, so we can conduct research. Uh, uh, there's committee work, there's putting up with our administrators. That's not too bad, actually. We've got, we got a good bunch on each for you. And so, so in recognition of all of this, uh, each year, uh, HPU's graduating students are asked to nominate candidates for this Excellence in Teaching Award. Hawaii Pacific University has named as its 2015 Teacher of the Year, Dr. Regina ostergaard Clem. One of the most special traditions of commencement at, at Hawaii Pacific University is the chance to hear from three graduating students who have been chosen to serve as valedictorian speakers and it's my pleasure to introduce them now. Representing our undergraduate students is Zach Drury. Speaking on behalf of our military campus programs is Moigan Busick. And representing our graduate students is Mark Bryant. We have gained so much more than an academic education while at HBU. The international student body has provided us with an eye-opening cultural experience. The small classes have enabled us to make long-lasting friendships while getting personal attention from inspiring professors. Many years ago, I moved from Iran to the United States. As a young girl who could not speak English, I had to overcome many obstacles. But I learned that this is a land of opportunity where the hard work does pay off, as I know all of us here today can testify. The graduate programs at HPU offer a world-class education in the context of the majesty of these islands and the diversity fostered by the community here. And when you're like me and you're studying human communication, this kind of diversity and the intimate class sizes offered at HPU make a huge impact, not only on the kind, but on the quality of the education you receive. This education was the reason many of you traveled long distances either from other countries or other states. And it was a part of the reason why, when all of my high school friends were leaving for colleges on the mainland, that I chose to stay. Most importantly, if your graduate experience is anything like mine, it has proven the immeasurable worth of having other people in your lives. Then we heard the commencement address by First Lady Dawn Amano Ige. She was terrific and a great lady. Everyone was thrilled with what she said and how she said it. Dawn Amano Ige became the first lady of the state of Hawaii when her husband, Governor David Ige, was sworn in as the eighth governor of the state of Hawaii on December the 1st, 2014. She was born in Ava in West Oahu and received a bachelor's degree in journalism from the University of Hawaii and earned a master's degree in business from Chaminade University. So we bear no grudges. <laughs> Amana Ige began her career as an account executive for the agency that is now Stryker Weiner and Yukoda Public Relations and was marketing director of Kapiolani Healthcare Systems. As a mother of three children, she chose to return to school for a professional diploma in elementary education. Dedicated to a career in education since 1997, Amano Ige demonstrates an appreciation for the role education plays in preparing Hawaii's sons and daughters as the future leaders of our community. She is currently on leave from her position of Vice, Pri Vice Principal of Kano A. Ladne Elementary School to serve as First Lady and continuing to champion public education for Hawaii's youth. Throughout her personal life and her professional career, she is led by the ex outstanding example she sets through her benevolent actions. Her efforts in service as a First Lady advocating for the betterment of all people in Hawaii is commendable. For many of you, you've achieved the hopes and dreams of your parents and families and friends and they have supported you and helped you to get to this moment. 
So let's thank them with a huge round of applause. You represent the hopes and dreams of our community. You are the next generation of innovators, public servants, and community leaders. You can be proud to be graduates of Hawaii Pacific University because you represent a 50-year legacy that the school brings to the state of Hawaii. I know many of you weren't even a thought 50 years ago, but some of us were here, and I assure you that I was very present here. I was, of course, very young, very, very young, and I have recollections of simpler times. 50 years ago, photos were taken on cameras, heavy cameras, and we had to send the film to the store to get it developed, and two weeks later, hopefully we would have some pictures. 50 years ago, across the country, the Voting Rights Act passed Congress, and down the street, the state capitol was being built. When we look back, it's amazing to see how far we've come. Innovation has taken us to unexpected heights, and sheer perseverance helped us to achieve goals that were only once dreams of a generation before us. But isn't that what it takes to do the extraordinary? It means going beyond ourselves and doing what we would never have imagined. I have to admit, I never imagined being here today as First Lady of the State of Hawaii. Let's face it, it's not really a career aspiration. <laughs> I wanted to be a doctor, but one of those students who seemed to fall asleep in class, but steady at night aced the exams, busted the class curve, which caused my grade to drop and forced me to look for a different career. <laughs> But, President Bannister, I think if I came to HPU, my life would be different in that chemistry class. <laughs> there were many of those overachieving students, and one of them eventually turned out to be my husband. Funny how things in life always seem to work out, even if at first it's painful. And I believe it all works out because there are some things in life that simply help us get through it. As I look back, there are three things that help me get through life. First, it's the relationships we value, even if they're not as perfect as we would like it to be. I grew up in, on a sugar plantation in Eva. My father, who died nearly 26 years ago, was a 100th Battalion veteran who never spoke about the war. So much so that only this year, during a speaking engagement in fact, that I found out he was a recipient of the Bronze Star. So treasure the relationships you've made here. They will follow you for the rest of your life. Believe in yourself and that gut instinct. Listen to your voice so you can be true to yourself and don't let others define you. And most importantly, I hope that you, in fact, I know you will use your skills and knowledge to help you find something that gives you a greater purpose in life. And when you do that, you will make Hawaii a better place for us all and really set the example for the world. Together, let's make the next 50 years even better than the past. Thank you and congratulations to you all. Thank you for your generosity of spirit and passion for the mission of Hawaii Pacific University and for providing such inspirational remarks for our graduates as they begin a new chapter in their lives. 42 years ago, HBU began a tradition in presenting the first Fellow of the Pacific Award. Presented at commencement, the award has been conferred upon 85 individuals since 1973, honoring outstanding community leaders for contributions to Hawaii, the Pacific Rim, and the university. Whether advancing healthcare causes or supporting opportunities for youth in education, Don Amano Ige, you have inspired your community. In recognition of your unselfish and unwavering commitment to the community and the ideals of higher education, it is my privilege to confer upon you the university's highest distinction 
of Fellow of the Pacific. Thank you so much. I'm speechless. This was quite a surprise for me, and it is an honor to receive this. But today, I have to say, is your day. So let's celebrate all together all the accomplishments that HPU has done today and in the last 50 years. So congratulations and thank you to all of you. The graduates then came up to get their diplomas. That's the part we like best. By virtue of the charter granted Hawaii Pacific University by the great state of Hawaii, by the authority granted the president under the university's board of trustees, I hereby confer upon you the associate's degree with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto. Will all candidates for bachelor's degrees please rise? <laughs> Mr. President, I am pleased to present the candidates who have qualified for baccalaureate degrees from Hawaii Pacific University. By virtue of the charter granted Hawaii Pacific University by the great state of Hawaii, and by the authority granted the president under the university's board of trustees, I hereby confer upon you the baccalaureate degree with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto. So all of the candidates for the master's degrees, please rise. Mr. President, I have the privilege of presenting the candidates who have qualified for master's degrees from Hawaii Pacific University. By virtue of the charter granted Hawaii Pacific University by the great state of Hawaii, and by the authority granted the president under the university's board of trustees, I hereby confer upon you the master's degree with all of the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto. It is time for presentation of the diplomas to our graduates. The following students will be receiving the degree of Associate of Arts. Jennifer Lynn Moore. Brianna R. Smith, with honors. Norma Fleming, with honors. After all the graduates had walked across the platform, they flipped their tassels, sang Aloha Oi, and marched back to the exhibition hall where they met their families, classmates, and friends. It was noisy, emotional, and touching. No matter what school you're graduating from, no matter what degree you're getting or where you're going later, graduation is always an exciting time. Because like the word itself, commencement signifies new opportunities and evolutions in life, and that was certainly the case here. These graduates are looking forward to a new time, even if it was just going back to work the following morning. Lucky for us, we got a chance to talk with some graduates, friends and family in the exhibition hall, and some of the faculty there, and ultimately with Dr. Bannister himself. We were delighted to be able to talk with them. What did you think of the ceremony? It's fantastic. The First Lady gave a great speech. The valedictorians all gave fantastic speeches. 2015 is fantastic. They're, they think more globally. They think about the community. They think about the future. So it's, it's a good thing that's going to happen for them. And they're giving back. You know, these kids nowadays, you know, they're, 
they're very thoughtful of the environment, everything that's going to happen. Well, it's such a privilege to be a professor at Hawaii Pacific University. The free market at work, a competitive institution putting forth dozens and dozens and hundreds of young people who are going to build our economy, our society. Congratulations to all of you graduates in 2015 and go build a better world. What degree did you take today? Uh, the Master of Art in Global Leadership and Sustainable Development. Oh, that's great. What are you going to do with it? I think I will go back home with the knowledge that I acquired here and uh, for sure, I mean, I will share it with my community and uh, yeah. And home is the Ivory Coast. Uh, yes. And I really uh, had uh, great times here with friends and I made a lot of friends and yeah. For sure, we keep in touch. But you know, today with technology, you know, distance is, I mean, it doesn't exist anymore. So. I really enjoyed Mrs. Ige's remarks in particular, that the, um, the Hawaiian hula at the beginning is also one of my favorites in this. And the final part where the students file out between the two ranks of faculty, with them applauding and hugging each other, very, very touching. Would you make a distinction between the class of 2015 and other classes? I think this one was certainly noisier. All in all, this was a lovely graduation ceremony, well organized and flawlessly executed, crowded and filled with enthusiasm and hope, not only for the graduating students, but also for the faculty and administration, who were there celebrating too, and the families, friends, and visitors just like us. We asked the graduates if they would stay in Hawaii after graduation, and it appeared that a substantial percentage want to stay. That's what we like to hear. It tells us that HPU has taught these graduates how to like Hawaii well enough to stay, or at least stay in touch, and ultimately work hard to come back. So now it is incumbent on us, all of us, to make a Hawaii that can keep them here and bring them back after they leave. A Hawaii with a robust and diversified economy. A Hawaii with great jobs and affordable housing. A Hawaii with beautiful open spaces and public places. And of course, a Hawaii with good schools for everyone. We can do no less for our graduates. We can do no less for our place in the world. Congratulations to the graduates and also to Dr. Bannister and his administration and faculty for producing the graduates and enthusiasm we saw and for presenting such a perfect commencement. We were delighted to be there and we look forward to attending other HPU commencements in the future. It all makes you want to go back to school again. Holomua meka o yayo. That means forward in truth. Interestingly enough, it also means, okay, it's time to join the Alumni Association. And now let's take a look at our ThinkTech calendar of events going forward. ThinkTech broadcasts its talk shows live on the internet from noon to 5 p.m. on weekday afternoons. Then we broadcast our earlier shows all night long. If you missed a show or you want to replay or share any show, they're all archived on demand on YouTube. Visit thinktechhawaii.com for a live stream and YouTube links or to join our email list and get these links and program advisories on our upcoming shows. We also invite you to be part of our live audience at our downtown studio in Pioneer Plaza. Contact me, Jay, at thinktechhawaii.com. Raise your awareness in every way on ThinkTech.
On June 18th, ThinkTech will present its Downtown Forum Luncheon Panel Program on the subject of the military in Hawaii. Can we continue with the legacy of Danny Noe? We'll ask what units are here and what they're doing. We'll ask what they contribute to the community and the economy and what would happen without them. And we'll ask how likely is it that they will stay. Join us for this important discussion. Be a part of the conversation and sign up to attend on thinktechhawaii.com. We'll be right back to wrap up this week's edition of ThinkTech. But first, we want to thank our underwriters. Okay, Sachi, that wraps up this week's edition of ThinkTech. Remember, you can watch ThinkTech on OC16 several times every week. Can't get enough of it, just like Sachi does. For additional times, check out OC16.tv. Definitely, Jay. For lots more ThinkTech videos and for underwriting and sponsorship opportunities on ThinkTech on OC16, visit thinktechhawaii.com. Be a guest or volunteer, a producer or intern, and help us reach Hawaii. Thanks so much for joining us on ThinkTech and for supporting tech, energy, diversification, and globalism in Hawaii. You can watch this show throughout the week and tune in next Sunday evening for our next important weekly episode. I'm Jay Fidel. I'm Sachi Slomoff. Aloha, everyone. Oh, oh.